Hello everyone. So today I am just going to take a short tutorial on uh, checkbox event handling in Blazor framework. Actually, this was shown in my earlier video on event handling in Blazor in the beginner series. But I thought that I will just for refresher, I'll create another video because that part of where the checkbox on change event was handled, that was quite late in the video, around 11 or 12 minutes point. So some of you might have missed. So I thought that this important concept needs to be recreated in another video. So how do we handle on change event in a checkbox when the user checks or unchecks it? So this tutorial shows how to handle checkbox when they are checked or unchecked in Blazor so that they are representing their correct state. And we shall show it in code through Visual Studio. So let's flip over to Visual Studio now. So at the start of the session, I have told you that I will be talking about a couple of event handlers. So I have now shown you the on-click event handler and on clicking of a button, how the heading changes or a welcome message is, you know, uh, which changes an initial message in a paragraph. So now I'm going to do the on change method of a checkbox, which is very important. Uh, and um, because a lot of times uh, when a checkbox is unchecked, it will do something. And when it is checked, it will do something else. It will write to the paragraph some other message. So let's see how those uh, you know, on change even of a checkbox is registered. You know. So we'll make a break over there at this point. It will just break on to just skip two lines. Okay. And then write a uh, HTML for the input type that is a checkbox. Okay. Checkbox. And uh, here I will just give it a class of form check input something like this check input and then the at on change at on change event is I will call a check changed method or which is the event handler in this case check change it's not written so I'll come there in a bit. That's why this quickly like. Okay. So what this check change will be. Let's see how it looks like. And before even I tend to write this check change, I'll have to um, write two fields. Actually, I have to create two fields. One of them is a parameter rather, which is Boolean, which will um, return the check state as a boolean and another is a string okay let's start writing private string again let's just copy this to save some time on typing just copy this part and change the string name to check change this time check change and let's write a message. I am not checked. Okay. And then there is a parameter for two way binding. And what are the Parameters. Parameters are just like, you know, public properties. So prop, tap, tap. And this time this will be just a bool, boolean type public property. And the name of the public property is, is checked. All right. So is checked. Get set. The initial value is true. It's set to be true. 
started. Right, then let's come to the check change method at the last. So again, private void returns nothing. Now, this check change method has to match with this event handler uh, delegate type, you can say type delegate. And then within the curly braces, I'll have to fill it in. So I will now use the Boolean, this um, state of this Boolean. If so is checked, so if is checked is true, that means the um, checkbox is checked, we will write check changed equals is assigned this value in this text. See this is check change is a string initial value is I am not checked and now after it is checked so you have checked me now. Okay and then once it is checked in so is checked is toggled to not is checked. So the state is changed for the next operation. You'll know that in a bit. So I, if I need to again uncheck, so it should change the message. Okay, that's my intention. Else, let's write this part. Just copy over and then customize. That has been my endeavor to save a lot of time typing over check change unchecked now. Okay, now once it is checked, clicking on the check button will uncheck. So there will be corresponding message to show that unchecked now. Right? And then again is checked is toggle to not is checked. Okay. So it will toggle between these two states. That's the intention. So if everything is all right, I should be able to run it again. So let's click on this button to run the Kestrel server for hosting. So now this is rendered this checkbox. I am not checked. So you have checked me now unchecked now. So that's all. And I did a small change actually. It's something I forgot in the first place. I have just put a paragraph below the checkbox just to with the um, add check change which is actually bringing the value of this uh, string from this check change event handler. So that's all. So now that you have seen and built the checkbox on change event, what we did in code. So this is what we did in code. We made an input type of checkbox with a particular class form check input and we created an on change event and it is bound to the check changed. Check change is the method or event handler, which is the C sharp method that we are going to write. So in a paragraph later on, we have um, called this check changed uh, and this paragraph, this paragraph is actually a paragraph which was put where actually check change state would be written. So this uh, I have now declared in the at code section a couple of uh, fields. The one is the string field check change, which has got initial state, initial value of I am not checked. And then there is a parameter, which is uh, public property is checked, which is actually tracking the whether it is checked or not and give it a, uh, assigning the Boolean of true or false value. So what is there in the check change? So, so if it is checked, if um, the checkbox is checked, 
the check changed string will be assigned a value you have checked me now and it will toggle the is checked boolean to a not is checked so it is just to reset so that it is ready for the next clicking else if it is not checked if is checked is false then check change will say unchecked now that paragraph will be re-rendered with the um, new string new value for the check change string and then again is checked will be toggled to not is checked and that's it and that does the trick hope you understood it thank you very much